Hi everyone on YouTube, this is Eric the Cyber Team. We've been coming back with a brand new update for Orcist. After post Dark Neostorm, post whatever else came out until then, until now. Anyway, uh, I've been working on this deck for quite a while, trying to see which version to do other than other than the dangers because they're because they're all expensive right now, and I don't have the money to shell up for them. So I went, I, I, I went, went, went with the poss possible second best option, um, putting three engines together into one with it. It actually works. It, it, it actually works, which is the best part of it all. Let's get into it. So starting with the Orcus lineup, obviously triple harp horror. Uh, you banish him from grave, summon from deck. Uh, double symbol skeleton, dash from grave, summon from grave. Pretty much self-explanatory for what they all do. Uh, I'm not going to really go into full detail because I'm pretty sure you've all seen different profiles for this deck anyway. Uh, double nightmare, it's your foolish burial, and your extender, and your mermaid target. One wand, because the banning of storm sources really hurt the deck to to where this is now only being run at one because unless you're able to actually discard it off it's going to be a brick so on to the first engine of the deck <laughs> trick stars yay so triple candina to search out for this bitch the double core bane she is basically a free summon from your hand if you have only trick stars or no monsters at all and then if you want you could also put in Lily Bell as your other free summon from your from your hand when, when she searched. And she gets to add back your uh, trick star cards when she attacks and deals damage. Now the Feminine Engine. Two boots, two cloak. I'm seeing builds where they only run one cloak in, in two boots. But for how I'm building it right now, this works out pretty this works pretty freaking well because it's either I, I always see one of them on my hand or I see none of them on my hand at all. I, I, I never had had the, the hand where I've seen multiples of them in my hands and so far it's been going pretty good with the 2 and 2 ratio. And then the warrior engine with the Neospace connector and the aqua dolphin because one single hand trap hitting the mermaid kills the deck. Or, unless, I mean, you could technically continue from being hit, from having your mermaid getting hit, if you have the setup for it. That's the only issue about it. So that's why you run the Neos the uh, the uh, Neospace connector with the dolphin. And speaking of hand traps, tree ash. That's the monsters onto the spells. One babble, no return, because I couldn't find room for it, and return is kind of not that really, or it's kind of not that good, but it's okay. But, not, but for this build, it's it's not really optimal. And then triple light stage to search your trickstar engine and to lock out the back row. Uh, this is perfect going second. Cause you just lock down like in, like an infinite permanence or a solemn strike or whatever else they have to like stop your place uh insta fusion extender mainly or just summon out your targets to get rid of your opponent's stuff which i'll show later trouble call by the grave because like i said hand traps really shut really kill the deck if they hit the right card so you want to have these in your hand as much as possible or all the freaking time. So three is off, so three is the mandatory amount. Then double terraforming to search out the life stage. One rota for your Neospace connector. Uh, for the traps, I'm running the one reincarnation for obvious reasons because this also hurts Orcus because if you banish because if you banish the right cards from their hand, they can't continue on. And then one of the, of a uh, crescendo. Um, it's, this card's so freaking broken. 
It's basically a it, it basically infinity barrier, but you can banish it after to get a search. So, yeah. And then another reason why I play two and two of each of the Phantom Knights is I'm running Triple Fog Blade. Because why not have more negates? With a deck that already that with a deck that already pretty much settles a, a very established board to just stop your opponent from playing. Anyway, that's the main deck. On to the extra deck. Obvious nightmare stuff. Uh, Mermaid, Phoenix, Cerberus, along with the Unicorn. Basic nightmare uh, ratios for the deck. Triple Galateas. You could go with two. Well, I, I think three for, for the grind game is 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 better because if you do happen to like grind out the game having a third one it is it, probably your best option then link threes long gear sue and the rusty bardich uh this is set up your um your fog blades and and get yourself in the grave for phantom knights and this is also a disruption option as well and then the last link monster is Bull Sword for OTKs. Xyz one Break Sword. Yes, he has come up several times for me, and yes, he has won, won me some games. So I'm keeping him in here. I don't really need to say that much for this card. This card is absolutely freaking broken. This card is so good. This the, the, this card alone just made. It just literally makes the deck literally one of the top meta decks of its current format. Because it, it, it gives protection to your cards just by detaching material from it. And when it's summoned, you either can put material on it from your, from your grave and or banish pile back onto them. Or you just send them a, a card on the field to the graveyard. The best kind of removal is not targeting is is not targeting non-destruction removal, and that's what this guy is. Um, if you have one, one is still fine to run, but two is two is the absolute must. And then as few targets, thousand eyes for going as going second and getting rid of your opponent's problem or getting getting rid of a problem cards that will stop you from playing, and then Winda. Make a you can save Winda from being killed with with a Dingirsu, and she can stay on stay on board and shut down your opponent. And then onto the side deck. This is my not final confirmation for my side deck, but I'm still trying to figure out cards for it. Uh, right now, I have triple Pankertops for if I'm going second, and also for. Against cards that'll shut me out of um, of summoning um, light or dark light uh, from light and or dark monsters like I don't know some random card like Quaki Meru Drago or something like that that some dragon players are running. Uh, Triple Ancia pretty much gets the mirror match or or uh, dinos in general because if they can banish they can't summon their big they can't summon. UCT, so that's there. Um, triple spell shattering, mainly for Mystic Mine, also for Sky Strikers technically, because you just pop the multi roll and whatever else they have face up on the field, and then just deal damage to them. And then for Mystic Mine, it doesn't. And then for Mystic Mine, it basically pulls up Mystic Mine itself, as well as their Wave Motion Cannon, if they have a face up on the field. Twin Twisters, also for Mystic Mind. Um, and also just generic back row removal. It, it also helps set up my graveyard. And then the last one is Red Reboot. Again, Mystic Mind, pretty much. And while their Ultra guys are running around, they're spooking around places here and there. Anyway guys, that is my current list for, or my current build for Orcus. 
Uh, hope, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Click the bell for uh, for our notifications for our future updates, and then we'll catch you all next time.